By now you know there are small fortunes hiding deep within the closets, attics, and basements of America. And if you follow my videos, you know I love sharing these kinds of things with you. So here are five things to sell that are hotter than hell. And I may even repeat myself, but it's with the hope that some of these strange and not so strange genres stick. I think there's a lot of new ones in this video too, so here goes. Vintage cameras. Do brands like Leica, Rolleiflex, Hasselblad, or Graflex sound familiar to you? I bet Nikon and Polaroid do, and I'm serious when I say you might have some serious bucks collecting dust or a real opportunity to make a few bucks, because I bet you have something like this laying around. Vintage cameras are back in business. Those stereo cameras, range finders, instant, you name it, all have recaptured the hearts of collectors. And before you drop off your downsizing at Goodwill, you really might want to check the make and model of what you have. And here's why. Number two is lamps. Genies may be a myth, but the right antique lamp can grant you wishes. Yeah, that's cheesy. Victorian, French, and Italian chandeliers, expensive luxuries in their day, but you know, the true antique versions are so rare to find, so they're quite desirable. But most homes in America had table lamps, and those turn of the century lamps, if you find a Tiffany, Handel, or Pearpoint, or Roycroft in your family, you might be beyond pleasantly surprised. Check these out. Persian and other oriental rugs. Okay, the intricacy and that mystique of a hand-knotted rug from the Orient have just made them so prized in the West. Persian, Bokhara, and Ziegler rugs are really still in high demand, and those vibrant carpets that are sourced from Pakistan, Turkey, India, Uzbekistan, China, and Afghanistan are also very sought after. You're looking for not density, the originality of the material like your camel hair, sheep wool, and other natural fibers. Genuine dyes, they're all important factors that determine the value. If the fringes of your oriental rug are part of the weave and not sewn on, the rug is a puka. Do not hesitate to bargain. You can always depend on websites to help you identify the phonies. Here's a tip. All Persian rugs are Persian Oriental rugs, but not all Oriental rugs are Persian rugs. You know, just check out some of these recent sales. Barbie. You or your sister's old dolls might just pay for your kid's college. And that, that's if you have the right ones, of course. The, but those early Barbies and even some of their outfits can have considerable value. Maybe you were weird and you collected Blythe dolls. You might just want to have a look because this one is easy, 5,000 bucks. Costume jewelry. It's not just your gold and diamonds that people want. Costume jewelry can be worth as much or more depending on the maker, believe it or not. There are plenty to learn too. You have makers like Miriam Haskell, Eisenberg, Weiss, Trafari, Napier, and on and on. There's a lot to learn. This Haskell set, for example, just brought $2,400 at auction. And that's not bad for some glass and rhinestones. And I got a few links to some great books down below. I find them really helpful in doing research. I hope all or some of these stoke your fire to go through your storage spots and clean house. Or maybe, just maybe, my channel is going to turn you into a picker if you're not already one. And remember, knowledge is power and it could mean a few extra bucks in your pocket in these lean times. It also happens to be a lot of fun. I'm Josh Levine and you are watching Josh Levine Speaks. Subscribe today and please share some of your finds in the comment section below. I love hearing those stories. Until we stream again, my friends.